Hello everyone, my name is Tim and I'm one of the product specialists here at Spy Center Security, the Spy Gear Superstore. I'm going to be going over and reviewing the Wi-Fi Blu-ray player hidden camera. Now if you do find this video helpful, please leave a like and remember to subscribe for future tutorial and review videos. You can stay up to date on the latest spy news by following us on Twitter and Facebook. What we have here is a Philips brand Blu-ray player that's had a hidden camera installed inside of it. The Blu-ray player still works as well. I really like this idea because people are less likely to get suspicious of something that has such a well-known brand printed on it. This hidden camera also has Wi-Fi capabilities for remote viewing from your smartphone. When we examine it close up, you can see the camera's lens right here. They disguised it very well to just fit in with the rest of the buttons and sensors that are already normally there. The top, bottom, and sides all look normal. When we get to the back of the player, you'll find the HDMI connector for your TV, and if we remove this square adhesive, you'll see where you insert your micro SD card for storage. You can remotely view the camera by connecting it to the Wi-Fi in your home. The process is pretty easy by following the instructions in the box. We do have a technical support number if you guys need help here as well. Alright, now with all that out of the way, let's see how good the camera is. Alrighty guys, so I brought this camera home just to give you guys an idea of what it may look like actually in a more real world type scenario. So I, I have it in my living room just on my entertainment stand where I actually normally have a Blu-ray player. So it blends right in. Um, but you can see the resolution is fairly high. Uh, and you can also see you know, what type of view you could expect with someone sitting on a couch there. Um, and you can see my, my dog uh, trying to get some food from me while I'm eating breakfast there. Overall, I would have to say that I do like this camera. Now, if I did have to critique it, I would say that the set, setting up the remote view could be easier, in my opinion. Now, that doesn't mean it's hard to set up by any means, but it's definitely not as easy as some of our other models. My only other comment would be that it's only 720p HD and not 1080p or 1440p like some other nanny cameras out there. Now you did see the video for yourself, the quality that is, so you can kind of determine whether or not it's good enough for your needs, but it's just one of those things that whenever you're comparing cameras side by side, it's a little disappointing. Now I do have to say that I really like the design. It's well made and will go completely unnoticed sitting on an entertainment stand or wherever you can fit a Blu-ray player. Now we do monitor the comment sections on all of our videos, so if you have a question about this or anything else, feel free to post it down below and we'll get back to you.